hey guys welcome back to my channel okay so for today's video obviously i'm not wearing makeup and stuff so i'm just gonna do a quick get ready with me and i'm gonna be sharing with you guys my experience at basically renting a booth or a table at a nail salon sorry it's early and i'm trying to get my words together okay so basically you guys um my hair is a mess like i had a headache last night and I, I usually take a really really hot shower to calm my headache after i take tylenol and it works it worked last night but it messes up my hair every time i do that because then i go to sleep and it just feels really weird right now it looks nasty but anyway um okay so i'm just gonna go ahead and moisturize and blah 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 you're just gonna see me uh, get ready and I'm gonna share with you guys my experience renting a nail table at a hair salon okay I'm gonna be doing just the most natural look it's Sunday you guys my kids are in the house um oh I put it in my hair I, the kids are in the house and they're all running around crazy my boyfriend is at his dad's house I don't know, he's just visiting. And he'll be back soon. I need a scrunchie. Oh, she's coming. Yes? Huh? The tablet? The tablet? Yeah. It's in the car. It's hard. Yeah. Oh, where? How'd you open the door? I locked it. <laughs> oh, the key's attached to it. What's up? Uh, you you want to say hi to YouTube? Yes. Yeah. Say hi, YouTube. Hi, you. Hi. Is my hair there? I think it's your channel. Psh, psh. Are you there, you right? <laughs> Wait. Can I get ready? Yes. Okay. It's Diana Toys. All right. One more Diana Toys. It's a mind of Diana Toys. So first I'm gonna go ahead and put my makeup. I cleaned this little makeup sponge thing. So I'm gonna go ahead and add this foundation. So anyway guys, I'm probably not gonna be looking at the camera as much because I'm looking in the mirror over here. But um so I'm just gonna go into detail with how I got there first. So yeah, I found the place on Facebook Marketplace that they were renting out the table at the the nail salon right so then um i think i commented down her post the, the the owner of the salons of the hair salon's post and she told me that it was available but i didn't respond so then she responded again with oh are you interested you can come look at it and then she instant messaged me and told me that i can come that day so i told her i could go another day so i did and i went and she wasn't there um she gave me a certain time to be there but she was taking forever and i was like i don't got time for this um there was a nice sweet lady there one of her assistants i think and she was like i can show you the place so then i was like okay i hate when my lips look like this anyway so she was like yeah i can show you the place so she, i saw the place and i liked it um her assistant was very sweet um, but yeah, I, out of everything, I just like the, the look of the salon for the, for the aesthetic reasons. But half of the salon was divided in half. So there was one side for hair and then the other side had, it was like two businesses actually. So there was an entrance. So if you know you're in a commercial property, you would see like maybe a bakery and then like, a a barbershop next door or something but so this was basically a nail salon and the other side was the hair salon but it was owned by the same person um, yeah that's what it looked like we had a separate entrance but anyway so i go and i liked it i told the lady she was like oh you left i left so i was like yeah i did i had to go somewhere but she was like but i was like but i'm definitely going to be renting it out so she was like, okay, but I just want to meet you in person, blah, blah, blah. I was like, okay. So I went back again to meet her. And um, she just was telling me the in and out of everything when um, I had to pay 
my rent and when I can start and she told me when I can come and set up. So I was like, okay, this is fine. So far, so good. So then I go and then, you know, um, it's the day of, hold on, I messed up my brush. So, you know, she told me where to go. So I was like, okay, I'm going to be able to be available to go. I think it was like the next Monday or something. So I was like, I'll, I'll come on Monday to set up or something. Cause that's the day I have off. I don't take clients on Mondays. So then she was like, oh, that's perfect. That's fine. And then I got to meet whoever was there. And I didn't really talk to them that much. They just was like, hi, and that was it. Um, so everybody was, I guess, you know, they had a warm up to people. I, I guess people come and go a lot. Um, so yeah, so then I get there and I'm setting up on Monday and then I started, I think on Wednesday, I had like a couple clients and so I didn't really get to talk to them that much like that. So I think like maybe like a week or two later, some random girl there comes up to me and was like, hi, my name is such and such, which we became really good friends. Um, my nose ring. Anyway, we became really good friends, but she just came up to me randomly. Like she was like, hey, my name is da da da. Um, I see that you're quiet, you're not talking to anybody. So I just wanted to come and say hi. And I was wondering, um, she's like, the girl I used to bring your table used to do my nails. Would you be okay with doing my nails? I need somebody to do them. So I was like, yeah, that's fine. I was kind of like, what in the world? So even she said that she was like, um, yeah, I could tell you were freaked out when I first met you because I just came randomly up to your table. And I was like, yeah, but I'm like, I'm glad you did because I didn't really talk to anybody there. I'm very closed off. I have to like observe people first in order for me to be like okay to talk to you i don't know i'm just like that i became really good friends with her i did notice though one thing i didn't really like was people asking to borrow stuff which i don't care like i'm such a generous person i'm like yeah take whatever you want like i don't care like you're never gonna use all your nail stuff if you know if it's not used you know like i have a lot of stuff that's never really used so then i did notice like a bunch of them were asking me hey there was like at least three other girls there there was one two no wait one two there was four people working there already and then me so that was five um but yeah most of them asked there was two people that really asked a lot and then there was two others that really did it it was a very like I'll ask if I really need it. And that's how I was. I was like, I don't really need to ask. I have a lot of stuff. But if I do have, if like a client of mine saw they ha that they had a color that they wanted, I was like, well, I'm going to ask. But I would give it right back. But like they didn't. So I was just like, why aren't they giving it back? Like there was one person that used one of my nail art things. And I'm not going to say what it is. Because if they're watching this, they're going to be like, oh, that's me. Or why is she talking about me? Whatever. But they took something and they didn't give it back for like two weeks. And I was like, are you freaking kidding me? I'm like, I need that. And I'm the type of person I'm like, I'm going to be a little bit. I think I should have said something. But then at the same time, I was like, why should I have to go up to somebody and ask for my stuff back when that's mine? Like, you should be appreciative and consider it. Like, let me give this right back. No, she gave it back to me one week and then she took it back for another two. And she just kept saying, oh, it's such a good thing. Like, oh, it works so well. And I'm just looking at her like, yeah, they sell it over here at freaking Cosmo Prof. You can go and pick it up yourself. <laughs> but I noticed that. So that happened a lot with her and some other person. But I'm not going to mention the other person because the other person really didn't bother me that much. But they did use up one of my um, things one day where... It was totally gone and I I didn't have it anymore and they never replaced it. So I, that bothered me. I was I'm you know, I'm used to being in my nail room and nobody bothering me. I'm used to touching my stuff, putting it back, knowing where everything is. Like there were so many days being there. I was there from May, June, July, August. I was there for four months. Every every other day was a thing that I just kept getting annoyed. Cause I would be like, wait, where's my white polish? Like, where's my Madame Glam white gel polish? My perfect white. And I would be like, oh, fudge. I'm like, I do not feel like getting up from me taking a client and 
having to get up and ask every single person and sometimes they were not there their day on their day off for me to ask like hey do you have my madam glam white polish like it was annoying so that irritated me but other than that the only person that made that made it like fun for me to go to work there was my, one the girl that i um that was for, I'll, I'll give her another name her name was i'll give her a random name her name was tiffany so tiffany was like my bestie at work basically so yeah so yeah that's one thing i didn't like another thing was the owner so the owner was a little bit invasive i think she was sweet in the beginning she kept giving me hugs she was i was like it's just love bombing like that's how i am logically i'm like is she love bombing me is am i gonna expect something after that's not this and it was so i was right um so she was just a little bit i'm not a person that you can manipulate easily and i'm not a person that i'm gonna i like to please people yes i'm a people pleaser i like to say yes but at the point um where i am in life like i learned to say no so she would tell me like hey can you take this person that i'm doing her hair she really needs her nails done and i already had to go at a certain time i run my own schedule i run my own business i do what i have to do you know on my own time and i already know my schedule and i know i have to go pick up kids i have to do this i have to do that i have to go on this errand you know whatever the case may be and one time she was like hey can you take this client and i was on my way out and i said no i have to go i think oh i had to go to party city and buy my daughter's um birthday supplies or whatever um her decorations and she was like oh well party city doesn't close till I think she said nine or something she's like party city doesn't close till nine and i was looking at her like yeah but i already have plans with my mom to go so i'm looking at her like you're not gonna make me do what you want me to do like that's not even right so that happened and that turned me off so bad but there was another thing that turned me off even more um there was a couple situations like that so then there was another situation where what happened i forgot there was so many okay so there was people you know people would always go in there selling food selling clothes selling blah blah, blah. so then she comes up to me and she's like laura i want to talk to you and i'm like what did i do oops but i was like what the hell did i do so i was like what the heck so i go over there and she's like um oh do you like these dresses so she's showing me these dresses and i'm like yeah they're pretty cute and she's like, I'm like, what the heck? Why is she asking me? But I was like, okay, yeah, they're cute, whatever. So then she's like, oh, you should take them. So she starts, so I was like, oh, I'm like, I'll take one, I guess. I'll support your friend because she was helping her friend sell them. And she was like, no, you're going to take both. And I'm looking at her like, I said one, but I'm like, okay. And I said that, I was like, okay. And then she just was like, yeah, you don't have to pay me now. Pay me next week. And I just was like in shock. I was like... Up. i was like sure i took the bags and i was like i don't like this like no like i just left it as okay lady you want to try to manipulate me i'm not gonna last here that was turn off number two then she would say things like i think one time like her camera kept falling the, the place had cameras right so the camera kept falling and she was like oh i just need people to help me and this and that well, i was like well yeah that's why everybody has to do their part and clean their area and this and that i totally understand that it'll make your job easier and running your business easier so then she's all like yeah like you're the only one that takes out your garbage you're the only one that keeps your area clean i don't know why they don't do it she's like don't do what they do blah 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 um so yeah she was saying that but then what then she was like I can't help it. I was born to be bossy. Like, I was born to boss everybody around. And I'm just looking at her like, okay, whatever. And then, I never really had a problem with her. But I think she didn't like the fact that she couldn't run me. You can't run somebody that runs their own business. That's not even fair. You know what I mean? So, yeah, another thing I didn't like, there was never soap in the bathroom. My clients always had to go in there. And I was like, ew, that's so embarrassing. Like, I'm going to have to go buy soap. And I bought this big old, you know, refillable thing of soap because that is embarrassing so oh my eyebrows and there was never paper towels in there i, I would t have to tell my clients like, look there's no paper towels in the bathroom um i'll give you a paper towel when you get back i didn't like that i had to do that um what else 
it was just like annoying like it was like that all the time i know that there was a point where like oh the week before i left right um there was a girl there and she quit not quick she was running her own business but she left she um told the lady she was not gonna be renting a table there anymore and she was like what in the world that same week i think she told one of my oh she told tiffany the girl that i got close to like you can't be coming into the salon looking like that and i'm like i'm like listening to this like what do you care what she looks like she runs her own business she's like you can't be coming in shorts um it's not professional and i understand like she had a point but at the same time i'm like you can't really say anything to people if that's their business you know what i mean um so i didn't agree with that and i was just so basically my friend got mad she was like oh i, I could leave here then what's she gonna do so and so's already leaving so the girl, the girl already left she's like i'm gonna leave and in my head i was like damn i'm about to leave <laughs> because i can't take this this place is not professional at all so I mean, my friend's still there though. She stayed. I mean, she has to do what she has to do. She probably doesn't have anywhere to go. Cause I don't, I, the only place I have is here. Thankfully I have somewhere, but I'm still like, like I know I'm not gonna be here the whole time. I gotta go out. I don't like being home all the time. Like there's pros and cons to it, but I'd rather leave the house if that makes sense. So anyway, that's for a future video. I'm gonna show you guys me leaving but that's why um when i would tell you guys like oh i'm gonna show you guys like my table at work and this and that but at the same time i was like i don't even want to be here like just thinking about doing that was like annoying to me i didn't want to be there i felt like my creativeness was gone like i felt like i didn't care to be there like i said the only fun part was my friend tiffany being there so yeah that week she the other girl left i left the ne next week i didn't care i was like i don't care it's not my business like maybe you should be a lot nicer because that week they were all arguing like well you need like one of the girls there was the daughter -in -law. so the girls would be like you need to tell your mother-in-law this like she needs to learn how to talk to people and i'm just like oh she so yeah she didn't talk to people a certain way like i don't know she was fine with me like the way she spoke and everything it's not like it was too rude but um she was a little bit manipulative and i can tell what that looks like you know what i mean so i knew how to read people i know how to read people when they're being manipulative and it's like she just wanted people to do what she wanted to do but there's that's to an extent as a business owner yes that's her business but that you cannot like make people do anything they don't want to do so that's how that went there was a lot of things i didn't like but i think tiffany was the only thing that made it cool to be there fun to be there um bearable um i also have other things like it was too much guys it was a lot I also had like where one of the girls was always like, oh my gosh, your clients talk too damn much. And I'm just like, what? And they're like, yeah. And then they were like, well, Laura likes to talk. So that's why they talk too much. She's talkative too. And I'm just like, okay, so sorry, my camera turned off. So I was like, okay, now them talking is annoying them. Like, what the heck? Like now you're gonna talk about my clients coming in here. I don't like that at all. Like don't play. I don't play about my clients. Don't talk about them. So, I didn't like that. What else? It was a lot. So, that that turned me off too. Um, I need to do my hair. I need to do my lips. Oh no, I think I'm going to do gloss. It's not staying that color. Okay. I don't know. This is from BH Cosmetics. Okay, I'm gonna straighten my hair really quick because it's horrible right now. Oh, I forgot to put powder on my face, and I already put my lip gloss. Great. I'm 
I'm gonna try to straighten it quick. I don't wanna be here all day. So you guys, yeah, that's really how it went down. I didn't like it at all. I just felt like it was just annoying. There was times where she would just come up to me and be like, hey, can you like read this email for me? And I'm looking at her like, lady, I wanna go home. Like, I don't mind reading it, but don't keep me here all day. I got stuff to do. And I felt like they just felt some type of way. They were always like, oh, Laura's such a busy person. She's always in and out. And I'm like, yeah, I got a life. I got kids. I got a whole damn YouTube channel. I got stuff to do. I got to edit. I have to post. I have to do other things behind the scenes. You know what I mean? And I don't think they understood any of that. But that's that was like how that went. It's like maybe if it was a different atmosphere, I would have liked renting a table but i realized that i didn't like that at all like sometimes i feel like i didn't give i think renting a not renting but working for commission a chance because i've really i had some experiences where i didn't like it and i don't know if it was just because i didn't give it a chance but i gave this four months to see how it would go and it just went like that <laughs> Like it didn't go as I thought it would go, but hey, that's why you got to try something at least once Okay, I'm gonna strain my the rest of my hair off camera Because this is gonna be annoying All right, we're almost done with the hair yeah. Just like a couple little swipes My daughter came in here when Ooh, I was almost nice. done But yeah, you guys that is the story or my review i don't know oh, what i'm gonna pink color. yeah pink i don't know what i'm gonna caption this video i guess my experience we're um renting a booth in a salon for nails renting a nail booth or renting a nail table that'd be better okay i just need a little bit of gel okay but that is all you guys thank you guys so much um let me know if you guys enjoyed this little experience story time and yeah that's, i just wanted to share with you guys in case you go and decide to run a table that's probably some things that you have to look out for first you know what i mean and i if you do end up running a table i hope it goes well and it's not that it's it was fun at the end so i liked leaving the house and i liked taking my clients somewhere else besides my house but um i think i would like to rent somewhere where i'm by myself you know what i mean where i can still leave the house and have clients come somewhere else but anyway guys thank you so much for watching please don't forget to subscribe comment and like this video because it helps my channel grow and when i'm growing i feel like i can keep uploading you know what i mean if i'm not growing as much it kind of makes me like Ooh, people even want to watch this um, but yeah guys, thank you so much and again, thank you for my 15k subscribers Um, I did mention it in the last video But I just want to thank you guys again because that made me so happy that I'm getting somewhere Love you guys so much and until next time. Um, bye bye